Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we have found the 16th uh, building tile. I shouldn't say we. This was Whimsy on Discord. Uh, the two of us were speaking after I had heard from a mod or developer. I wasn't sure who was that uh, responded. And they made a comment, and so we kind of Easter egg hunted for the day. And uh, this is it right here. We're going to get you a better look. We're going to go inside town right here. If I can learn how to shut a door. So I'm going to show it to you in daytime and in nighttime. Just so you see. Now up there is the half-timbered wall. Uh, this is also one that you cannot build yet. It is called... Well block. And no, not the same well that I thought it was. It is not a drinking well. This is the well that we have here in this game. So it's a little janky how to get to it, but we will show you that. And this is what the building material looks like. You some very nice designs. This is the 2x2 two two column. Very good looking. It's got an emerald green color to it. There is your uh, terracotta roof style, though another one we can't build yet. This one requires sandstone to build. Uh, you can get the shroud oil from down in the shroud, but the sandstone we can't get. But yeah, real nice window details. Uh, I brought the wall out one tile to give it that look. You know, I put the wall up and I just came out one tile. These are kind of like arrow slits. So you do a three wide hole in the back, a double wide, double thick wall, and then one vertical hole in the front. Same thing over here. It's like you can see into someone's house. It's all a facade. It's all fake. <laughs> I just built it because I wanted it to look cool, and then you got stairways to I don't know where, and it looks creepy, and it's freaking me out. But yeah, it's a, it's a very pretty color. This, the floor, the tile, I guess, looks fantastic. I'll be happy to build with some of this. Uh, it stacks really high. I've had it over 2300. So unlike the castle wall block, which is the bridge, that only stacks to 500. This stacks really high. I would like to see them have them all stacked to like 9999. Just, we're already having to use inventory for it anyway. Alright, I'll be back in a moment and we'll have it at nighttime. Alright, we are back and it is nighttime. So the, uh, that kind of emerald green turns into this almost steel looking color. Very cool. You can really see the lights inside of the spaces now. Very well lit up. The shadows weigh pretty heavily on it now. It, it looks it looks quite good at nighttime, especially lit by the torches. Yeah, I really dig it. Floor here. Let me put on something that doesn't glow. <laughs> But then you have the glow. Lighting works pretty good. Glows right off of it. Yeah, so pretty darn cool. Looks good at nighttime. Alright, we'll be back in a minute and I'm going to show you exactly how to acquire this stone. Alright, let's go get us some stone. So we are in the area where it tasks you to place your first beacon, your first flame. Right next to Longkeep, right below the Cinder Vault, Braylon Bridge, that bridge that you can't get across right now without the, having a grappling hook, is there. Your first mission to go fight a boss is the Elixir Well. It's right there, and that's where we're going. Uh, word to the wise, it would be helpful if you have a couple altars with you. You technically only need one because you can upgrade it, but if you don't want to go fight the boss to be able to upgrade it, at least have two. Three is in case you make a mistake. And a workbench, 
workbench is just so that you can upgrade or uh, repair stuff if you have to use any of these things. And then a whole crap load of whatever you have a whole bunch of because you're going to be building a lot. Like you're actually going to be building outward like scaffolding to get to where we're going. It's a little janky to do, but it's not too bad. So, right there, those two pillars sticking up out of the fog, that is where we're going. That is the well. That's where you fight the first boss. I am doing this with the the uh, glider. If you don't have the glider, you're going to have to come down, walk down, walk through there, and come up through this front side. It's not that far, but you'll have to fight a few more enemies that I'm not going to have to because I have this. But, they're low-level enemies. You'll be just fine. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Big whiff bat there. Yeah, that's right. I caught you, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost caught myself. You gotta watch that. See, these barrels, they go blowy up in your face. <laughs> that was almost bad. Get your, uh, your timer back. Then you're going to come this way. We want those towers. So you can't actually place an altar in the shroud. It won't let you do it. You can't disassemble anything in the shroud. It refuses to let you do either. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right here. And we're going to... So give or take around this level-ish height-wise uh, elevation is about where you want because you can kind of see the layer of the shroud. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see it, how it undulates up and down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it out to the old picky X, and we're going to go to town. Just going to make a spot big enough for an altar. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Might be enough. Let's find out. Not quite enough. Pretty close, but not quite enough. Still not enough. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Alright. So here we go. So now you got your altar, right? Altar works fine. Like I said, you can just drop down into the well, get you a shroud core, come right back up, expand this, and you'll be able to get very close, if not all the way. But for our point, this will do everything we need. You're going to get this out. You're going to grab over to your rough stone. And I use number six. And I just do this. I go as far as it'll let me build, which is right there. But I need to be somewhat centered. It does not have to be perfect. And I like to give it enough space so I do a 3x3 three three square. And that is all I need from that. We're going to come over here. We are going to extinguish this flame. We no longer need this guy. We're going way out here now. And we're going to grab another altar. We're going to bring it down. And we're going to do the same thing all over again. Nope, wrong side. That one. Haha. -ha. And I'm just going to put this right at the edge. Right there. So now, I have a further space, which still isn't quite far enough. So it's a good thing we brought three, because you can see it goes right down the middle of it. We need another, like, two meters. So that is no problem. Let's just go out three. All right. Drop this. I'm going to 
to make this go away. And we are going to drop one more. These things only cost five stone. It's super cheap to just make these, make them, break them, make them, break them. I keep doing that. Wrong thing. Here we go. And right there. Now we should be close enough. And if you want, you can get rid of some of this stuff. Now, you'll see on the back side, at some point, anything beyond that line is going to start disappearing. But we're close enough to the ledge we can jump back on here if we need more. So now, we're going to go back to doing this guy. And yes, some of the NPCs will fire up at you occasionally. It's not always. That's good enough. Oh, ah, see, we're enshrouded right there. So, yeah, I don't know that we were fully high enough, but, but it's good enough. So we're going to go to this top one meter. I click on the four. And... Well block. And these will stand on their own. You can go all the way through it. And it's not going to cause this to whole structure to collapse or anything. So I can jump up in here. And while it doesn't show it, this actually uses your stamina. So sometimes you have to sit and just kind of wait. So it's fully disconnected. My head's not getting crushed or anything. And it stacks really, really high. Uh, like I said, like 2300 or something is, is size I've gotten. So, because you are here, what you cannot do is go down too far. So, I get there. Do you hear that noise? So, my pointer is literally inside the shroud right now. It's covered by the shroud, so it will not let me take it. Or there. So, that's the lowest it's going to let me go. But what it will let me do is go up. You can take the entire structure as far up, and it goes up a long way. 64 meters. So if I go back to six, start right there, eight, the snapping of stairs is so irritating. I do hope they get that fixed. Snap that wrong. <laughs> Alright, so now we're up a decent amount. Go back to six, give us a spot where we can actually stand on. So now we're up high enough that I can get a lot higher up on that structure. Yeah, probably get up on this, yep. So go back up here. We're on four. Watch out for big spikies. And now you can get a lot higher. So that is how you get the ever-elusive 16th block well block. It's beautiful. It's a really cool tile to build with. And enjoy yourselves, guys. Thanks for watching.